everything comes out of the mind. As John Lee once said, you could say that the mind is the creator of the world. Particularly with the pleasure and pain you experience. Some of it comes from intentions in the past. Some of it comes from intentions in the present moment. But they all, all your pleasure, pleasures and pains come from intentions. It's a pretty radical statement. The world you experience right now, the Buddha says, experience that as old karma. Things coming into the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, mind. And so learn how to receive your old karma like a good sport, but at the same time learn that you don't have to suffer from it when it's bad, and you don't have to get deluded by it when it's good. You have to be responsible for right now, realizing that what you experience right now will be shaped by your choices right now, and those choices will also have an impact in the future. This is why we pay so much attention to our own minds. This is where the problem is. Other people have their pleasures and pains, you have your pleasures and pains. You can't feel theirs, they can't feel yours. Sometimes you pick up on the fact that somebody's upset or somebody is happy, but you can't feel their upsetness or happiness. What you feel is the impact of that energy on you. And again, if you didn't have that kind of karma, you wouldn't feel that impact. So whatever comes your way, take it like a good sport, realizing that sometimes you have to admit to yourself you must have been quite a character in the previous lifetime. But you also want to be wise now. The more wisdom you bring to your choices, the better things are going to be. So instead of worrying about the the ends, in other words, the results of old actions. Focus on the beginnings, the intentions that come up in the mind, and the choice you make to act with, on them or not act with them. That choice is what's going to make all the difference. So this is why we meditate, to get the mind in a place where its choices are really clear. You ask most people, why did you do that? Why did you do this? And oftentimes they have to stop and think for a bit, well, why did they? They don't know. An intention came up, it passed the checkpoint really, really quickly without any thorough examination. And then they're stuck with it. So be thorough in your examination. They say that a lot of people, but a lot of people, the minds have made up their decision what to do, and only afterwards do they realize it. And the materialists say, well, this is proof that the brain operates on its own and the mind is simply aware afterwards. But what's more likely, and, and when you meditate you find it's more true, is that there are many layers of deceit that go on in the mind. We've learned to close off a lot of the mind's functions, put some of them on automatic pilot simply because we don't want to be bothered with having to make those decisions again. And other decisions that we are busier about covering up. So the purpose of the meditation is to learn how to uncover things. We try to get a sense of well-being right now so that we're okay with what we find. In other words, we're not knocked off balance by discovering that, yeah, there are some unskillful things going on in the mind. Because it's only when <clears throat> you admit that they're there that you can do something about them. 